What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I've got a very, very exciting video for you guys because we have some top-notch info on the PlayStation 4, including leaked video of their menu system, as well as new information about some of the Microsoft technology that's coming out for the Xbox One, and a new graphic for the Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer event that reveals a little bit of stuff about it. So, uh, this, is, uh, this is pretty exciting, let's get into it. So, uh, starting off with the biggest piece of information, yes, that's right, we got video of the PlayStation 4 U. UI or the user interface or really the menu system however you want to say it this was part of a blacklight retribution demo that was going on and uh, for whatever reason it got leaked out on YouTube and people have been uploading it you know it was on this one guy's channel I'll link it down in the description but anyway it shows off the menu system or at least part of the menu system of the PlayStation 4 we get to see what it looks like we get to see some of the transitions we get to see some of the sound effects and things like that so it's uh, it's pretty cool because this menu system is something we'll be looking at for the next decade decade in gaming, so it's uh, it's kind of nice to see uh, what we're going to be working with. Now, uh, one of the first things that you're going to notice is that they have moved away from the XMB layout, where it was just like one big horizontal bar and then a bunch of vertical columns uh, in that horizontal row, and it was all just up and down or right and left, and just, I, I don't know, I didn't really like the XMB platform of the PlayStation 3, and it looks like they're going for a boxier feel this time, and more of a menu-y feel, kind of like the Xbox dashboard as it is right now, the newest updated one, so. Uh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of good news. It, it just it looks like the layout makes a little bit more sense now uh, Apart from just being able to see the new layout and see the new graphics and things like that We've also learned a couple of things about the console from this video So number one is that the game crashed in the middle of the demo and the system didn't lock up You didn't have to shut it down. You didn't have to restart it or anything like that It just it went back to the main menu and he was able to load the game back up again So that's obviously a good thing now It's not expected that a bunch of games will crash, you know once we get to play the systems ourselves But it, it's still a good thing that in case that ever happens in case there's ever some flaw in a game or something like that you aren't gonna have to shut down the system's not gonna lock up you're just gonna be able to start it back up again and you're gonna be good to go now another thing that we learned from this is they referred to the games as applications and the games are kind of like in an application screen next to the web browser and look to be the video recorder or the video editor or whatever it is so it looks like games will be able to run side by side with other applications you're gonna be able to multitask kind of like the Xbox has been promoting so so yeah if you're on your PlayStation you want to you know browse the internet and then you want to switch to a game and then switch to watching a movie and everything like that you don't have to shut everything down and completely quit out of the game you can just switch over to the next thing you want to do and that way you can switch between the things you're doing at the snap of a finger and and it doesn't have a lot of loading screens and things like that so that is obviously a good thing so yeah that is the new PlayStation 4 menu uh, make sure to go watch the video if you guys want I'll link it down in the description but I pretty much covered it all for you all now I'm uh, moving on to the second thing I've got for you guys Microsoft really spilled the beans and gave us a lot of information yesterday so for one they uploaded three videos to their YouTube channel three short videos featuring the Xbox one wireless controller the new play and charge kit and the new chat headset so uh, like in the controller video which again I'll link all these down in the description but anyway they kind of showed a bunch of different angles of the controller and it wasn't like in real life pictures it was just like a graphical model of it but but they had some quotes in there and they said feel the action like never before with impulse triggers which it looks like there's gonna be a, a vibration rumble pack in the trigger so maybe like when you're shooting your gun in Call of Duty your trigger will rumble along with the bottom you know leg part of your controller so that's kind of cool they also said it has responsive thumbsticks so uh, if you guys don't know they really have been working hard on thumbsticks to make sure there's no like dead zone and it's all really really tight and really responsive and and then they also said there's a new precision d-pad which I think is kind of BS I, I don't know how much more precise you can get with a d-pad I think it's already pretty darn precise in the first place and and then finally they said it's the best controller Xbox has ever made which which I think we kind of come to expect because this is their latest console obviously it should be the best ever made so Anyway, moving on to the second video, they had it about the play and charge kit, and, and this was pretty cool to kind of see. So it looks like you can charge the battery of the controller either inside or outside of the controller, whenever you want, and you can, you know, charge it while you're playing or while it's at rest. So that's definitely a good thing. Uh, it also said that it had a nine foot charging cable, which is obviously a good thing, and it said that it charges in under four hours, which is uh, which is pretty darn quick. I'd be interested to learn how long the battery life on it is. You know, can you play for like ten hours before it runs out? I'm not sure. 
And, and then finally it said, say goodbye to disposable batteries. So, you know, maybe they won't even allow you to use AA batteries in their wireless controllers anymore. Maybe you have to use the, uh, the, the built-in plan charge kit. So uh, that would obviously be pretty useful for a lot of us if you don't have to go out and buy batteries. Now, uh, moving on to the third video they uploaded. They had the chat headset, and I did a video on this two days ago, uh, kind of talking about how it had been put on Amazon. But uh, their quotes for this thing were, amplify your game with crystal clear voice chat, comfortable for long gaming sessions, plug in and go, and then it showed that you do have buttons or controls uh, down towards the bottom of the controller to mute yourself or turn the volume up and down, which is nice. But at the same time, I mean, it, it's the same old Xbox chat headset. It's really similar to the one we saw on the Xbox 360, so there's really nothing new there. And, and yeah, so those are the three videos they uploaded. Now, the other thing that they gave us yesterday was they uploaded an image to their website that allowed us to see what Xbox Live Gold is going to get you. So, uh, you know, if you take a look at this graphic right here, you can see some stuff is kind of... Uh, uh, you know, self-explanatory. I mean, things like browsing the internet or watching Netflix or playing multiplayer games or things like that. You know, obviously you're going to need Xbox Live Gold for that. But what's interesting and what's most notable is they're going to require you to have gold to use the Xbox Guide feature, the one guide, you know, the TV guide thing if you want to watch TV with it. So you have to have gold to use that. And then you also have to have gold to use the game DVR, to use the capture card. So uh, hold up, I've got one more piece of information that I saw after recording this video. So quick pause here. It's been confirmed that PlayStation will not require you to have PlayStation Plus in order to use their recording and screenshot software. So I'll link the GameSpot article down in the description. But yeah, on the Xbox, if you want to record, you have to pay for Xbox Live. On the PS4, if you want to record, you do not have to pay for anything. It's already built into the system. So uh, that's definitely a big good thing in PlayStation's favor. Back to the video. Moving on to the final thing I've got for you guys. This is pretty exciting if you're a Call of Duty fan, which every single one of you guys are. So uh, check out this image right here. This was tweeted by the official Call of Duty account a couple of days ago. And as you can see, it's uh, kind of like a, a teaser to the Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer event. That's at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time on August 14th, a little bit less than a week from now. So, uh, you know, this is pretty good. It's going to be a live stream. We're going to be able to see multiplayer gameplay for the first time. And, and I'm actually going to be at the event, and I think I get to get hands on with the game. So I'm going to be able to report back to you guys and give you guys my thoughts, opinions, feelings, and, and give you guys some inside info on it. So that should be pretty good. But uh, we also learn information just from the image itself. So if we take a look at it, you can see there's these little boxes, you know, the little white boxes with the icons in them. Those look to be perks. So the one up in the top left there, I believe that's some sort of reload while sprinting perk. Below that, it looks like there's a lightning bolt hitting a UAV. So maybe that's like a UAV jammer type perk or a ghost type perk to keep you off the radar. Uh, next up, over on the other side, uh, there's up in the top right there, there's some sort of like skull with the rainbow, or I don't know if those are sound waves, or you know, it could be eavesdrop, but I'm not really sure. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that one. Below that, there's obviously Flak Jacket, you know, it's a grenade and a shield. And then finally below that, it looks to be like Scavenger is returning with the two bullets and, and the little vulture there. Now, uh, the two big ones that we skipped over, up top, there's a big juggernaut head of some sort and then a knife underneath him. And I have no clue what this could mean. You know, maybe it's Commando, but I don't think it's a perk because it's different from all the other ones. I'm thinking maybe this could be a death streak. You know, maybe death streaks are returning or you know, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. And then below that, there's another, you know, big black box that, that looks to have some sort of, uh, of noob tube or launcher in it. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what these things could be. If you guys have any ideas, then make sure to leave uh, your suggestions down in the comments. Maybe we can figure it out. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching watching got a bunch of great videos coming soon one last final thing I want to let you guys know about is is Machinima actually put up some Saints Row 4 gameplay early and it's the first Saints Row 4 gameplay I've seen so I figured some of you guys might want to see it you know it's a pretty big series it comes out later this month so I'll annotate that on the bottom part of the video if you guys want to go check it out and and thanks guys catch you later peace